the next question for you is Sandhya has six coins of fifty paise and five notes of rupees fifty. Okay. So what is the total value of money that Sandhya has? Okay, and your options are rupees two fifty. Option B, rupees two fifty three. Option C, rupees two fifty one. And option D, rupees two fifty two. Okay, so we need to multiply and calculate. Sandhya has six coins of fifty paise, right? So fifty. Into six zero five six are thirty. So which means she has three hundred paise. We already know that hundred paise makes one rupee. So which means that three hundred paise will make three rupees. So this is equals to three rupees. Okay, and she has five notes of rupees fifty. So which means that fifty into five. Five fives are twenty-five. So she has total of two fifty plus this rupees three. So she is having the value of two hundred and fifty-three. So where is two fifty-three, children? Yes, it is option B. So did you understand this one? Yes. So first we solve the value of paise in rupee, and then we solve the note value. And when added together, it gave us the total price. Clear? Shall we proceed further? Okay. So here is your next question. The next question says, how much amount amount should be added? Fifty-six rupee and thirty paise to get rupee sixty. Okay, and your answers are rupee three point seven zero. Option B, rupee four point five zero. Option C, rupee five point three zero. And option D is rupee four point two zero. Okay, so now we need to see what is the difference between sixty rupees and fifty six point thirty paise. So that will be giving us the answer for this question. So how will we we'll do? Sixty point zero zero minus fifty six point three zero. So zero. Ten minus three is seven. Then nine minus six is three, and five minus five is zero. So which means that I need to have three rupee and seventy paise extra in order to make it as sixty rupees. So where is it? Yes. So this is option A. Clear, children? Shall we proceed with the next sum? Okay. So here is your next question. The next question says, so this is the table showing the items and the price. Okay, so the doll costs rupees forty-five. Then 
you have a robot which costs you rupee 12. The next one is car which costs you rupees 15.50 and you have a ludo which costs you rupees 21. Okay. So now the first question is seeing this table the first question is which two toys can be purchased if you have rupee 30 okay the next question says arrange the toys from lowest to highest price value. Okay, and your third question says that if I have rupee 50 how many toys can I buy okay so now the first question says which two toys can be purchased if you have rupee 30 so can we see this yes so if we want to buy say robo toy because doll is out of question the money which i have in my hand is 30 rupees whereas the cost of the doll is 45 so which means that i cannot buy the doll so now if i want to buy these two what is the cost price just add and see the cost of the robo is 12 and the cost of the car is 15 50 so if i add i will be having 27 rupees and 50 paise wherein I have 30 which means I have extra money right now suppose similarly if I buy say robot toy and ludo 2 plus 1 is 3 and 1 plus 2 is 3 so which means that I cannot buy ludo and the robot together right so which are the two toys which I can buy I can only buy robo and car so in this case I can buy the robo and car because this will give me the total of how much if I add these two it will give me a total of 27.50 okay so now arrange the toys from lowest to highest so which is the lowest one so answer to what is the least price it is robo toy right so, robo toy, after that what is the next value? It is the car. Then comes the ludo and finally comes the doll. So, doll is 45 rupee. The ludo is 21 rupee. Car is 15.50 and robo toy is 12 rupee. Okay, now the third question, if I have 50 rupee, how many toys can I buy? So, how many toys can you buy if you have 50 rupees? We can buy Robo, Car and Ludo. Is it possible? Can we add and see? We will just add 12 rupees, then 15, 50 and 21. So, 2 plus 5, 7 plus 1, 8, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 2, 4. Yes. So, if I have 50 rupees, I can buy robot toy, car and ludo. Wherein, if I have to buy only the doll, then I will be able to get only one toy. I will not be able to buy any other toys. Wherein, if I omit doll, I will be able to buy all the three toys.
clear? So, was it interesting? Can we solve some different patterns? <laughs>